Hello everybody, it's Sarah here from SH Millinery again. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a short selection of videos. So they're going to be short videos just concentrating on one thing. So for this one, we're going to talk about Petersham or grow grain. Now, there are two different types. There's polyester grow grain, which has um, a very close woven edge and it melts. So if you want to melt the end, it melts. Now, you cannot swirl this. You can use this for decoration, but you can't swirl it for inner headbands and going around the outside of a hat. And this is Millinery Petersham, which has a totally different edge to it. You'll see a loop edge. And this is normally made up of a viscose cotton, that type of blend. Now, if you want to swirl this, you literally get your steam iron and do that. You go round like that. And what it does is it will swirl it into a shape. Now, you'll notice the colour changes slightly when it's hot, but that it'll go back to its normal colour when it's uh, cooled down. So you can swirl that for the inside of a headband or for going around the outside of a hat. So now you've got a nice curled piece of grow grain or petersham. It comes in lots of different widths. Now this would be ideal, this width would be ideal for inside as a headband. You might want wider if you were doing it as a decoration. And of course, if you want to use it as an edging, that's my next little tip. Now, if you want to go around the edge of a brim, you need your Petersham stretched taut. Now, you can buy what's called a ribbon board to put your ribbon around. But I tend to use something like this. Now, this actually is a charger. You know, you put it under your dinner plates. And it has quite a thin edge, so it's ideal for what we want. And what I've done is I've wet the Petersham. So it's just damp. And what you need to do is fold it over the edge. Like so. Make sure you've got equal side, equal piece of Petersham on both sides of the board. And what you do is you stretch it. So pull it taut so that it bends round. And again, clip. Pull it taut and bend it round and clip. Now, when that's dry, that will be a fabulous edge. It'll all be ready for you to put on. It'll be stretched tight so you won't have any ripples or kinks. So there we are. That's Petersham. Thanks other things instead of Petersham if you're struggling to get hold of that. Bias binding works well because you can fold it over, iron it and swirl it exactly the same as Petersham because it's normally got uh, a cotton content. And then you can stitch that down like that and it gives a nice neat edge. So there are other techniques to use if you're struggling. Now, also, if you're using bias binding or anything like that for the edge of your brim, you've got to do exactly the same as we have done with the Petersham. Otherwise, you'll, you'll struggle to get it to fit nicely. Now, again, this works because it's cut on the cross. Now, this isn't cut on the cross, but it is flexible. But the bias binding is cut on the cross deliberately. So let's take off the piece we did earlier. And as you'll see, it's now a curve. It's now a curve. It'll go around the brim beautifully, matches both sides, and I can stitch through and it'll fit lovely. So if you're gonna do the same with bias binding, I'm just gonna give this a bit of a quick blast of steam to get it going. Again, on your plate or whatever you're using, it needs to have a narrow brim and stretch round like that stretch it 
so that it fits nicely. And again, if you wet it, or you don't have to particularly wet the bias, but if you steam it, I give it a bit more stretch. So when you take it off, now remember when you stretch anything, it makes it narrower. So you will have quite a narrow brim, but you'll see how smooth that will be when it's sewn onto the hat and you won't have any lumps and bumps. And you'll see just by stretching it onto the plate with a bit of steam, I have a nice curve. Okay, I hope that's all been really helpful to you. Uh, do subscribe. Don't forget to click for notifications so you know when I'm putting out more videos. There will be more short tutorials just on one thing. And obviously you can always become a member and gain more from the channel. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care. Bye.